So there is a really phenomenal badass effect that I've been seeing. Namely Troy Roscoe, he's an absolute beast on this editing thing. Basically what it is is a series of multiple zooms. Check it out. But using several different clips of zooms to get there. Let me show you how to do it. Step one, make markers exactly where you want your effect to start and then where you want it to finish. These can always change later, but it's good to get an idea of that length. Step two, chop up seven to 12 clips that you want to use as the zooms into the next clip. Remember, the longer you want this transition effect, the more clips you have to use. So I have one continuous video. I'm chopping up bits and bobs of it so that I have a selection of around seven clips. Step three, select them all and retime them to around 10% speed or even 7%. So go over to the retime button right there and then press custom. So on custom, you just literally just jot in 10% or whatever your desired number is. Step four, cut them so that they are all the same length around eight to 14 frames. So what I would do is line them up a little bit, not taking too much time, chop one side so that they all start from the same place. Remember, when you choose your videos, don't be picky because there's no way that anyone's gonna be able to see the whole flow of the video anyway as it's moving too fast in that zoom blur and then tap in seven or eight frames or more cut them all at that point again and you just want to cut there and delete the rest next thing you want to do is highlight the remaining clips and add optical flow it might not matter too much for the actual zoom as it will be going so fast but in any case i just added the optical flow by just typing it in on help step five now drag all those clips adjacent to each other so that they line up in the timeline together step six add an adjustment layer over the top of one clip only so i chose to just drag this adjustment layer over the top of the first clip just snipped off the end there click on that adjustment layer and then go into crop and then press Press the key burns effect, making sure that the red square is inside the green square so that the start is bigger than the end, creating that zoom. And then you just want to replicate that adjustment layer across every clip transition. Step eight, make it a compound clip and then place it on the markers we made earlier. So I made it a compound clip. I typed in zoom onto the effects panel, add your zoom blur, which is a motion blur that you need to make it a bit more believable. I'm just going to drag it across. Here is where you have to sort of edit the size so you make it the size of the panel play it back see if it works well i made it roughly half of the size i intended so halfway between both markers just because it looked better and the way it was zooming was a lot better to me and and how you do that is you retime the clip so you just play it back see how fast it goes seeing what sort of speed you want what you want to do next is make sure that the clip underneath that is um next to the right side of the compound clip so you go to the start of that bottom clip press the keyframe button on scale and position move a couple of frames and front and then zoom to an appropriate size that you think changing the position if you need to and then move a couple of frames from there and then zoom back out right better know that a man them's touring the up block gang if you see four man in the right best dash bro went jail for Putin lean out the ride then he made that crap right better know that a man them's touring the up block gang if you see four man in the right best dash bro went jail for Putin lean out the ride then he made that crap you actually don't have to use videos. In fact, it works better when you use uh, photography just because it's higher res and it's easier to manipulate. Thank you guys for watching. Below is a free adjustment layer that you guys can download and also um, a link to the full pack of Zoom transitions that will greatly help my channel if you guys purchase them. Use discount code AMAZOOM to get a 50% discount. It is limited, so it will be ending soon. So hurry up. Links are below.